Please to the book of Romans chapter number five. Romans chapter number five. It's a joy to be in the house of the Lord today. Uh, like the brothers already said, I smell good things coming from the kitchen, but I've already experienced good things in my soul this morning. I appreciate the blessing of God. Appreciate the word of God that's already fed me. Romans chapter 5, therefore being justified by faith, yes. we have peace with God. Yes. Hallelujah goes right in there. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand Amen. and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Father, I do ask you now that you'd bless us and help us. I thank you for what's already been done. Thank you for what our ears have heard, our hearts have felt. Thank you for the stirring of the Holy Ghost. We pray now that you'd help us and make us to be a vessel unto honor unto Jesus. We'll give you praise, honor, and glory for what you accomplish in Christ's name. Yes. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you and thank you for standing. The Bible says here that we are saved by grace through faith and rejoice in the hope that we have in the glory of God because of where we stand. I'm glad to report to you this morning that I know, that I know, that I know I'm saved. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I appreciate the fact I remember a day when I was lost. Yeah. Right. Amen, preacher. Right. Yeah. Y'all can sit there if you want to. I can have a spell with myself. Yeah. Amen. I, I'm glad I remember a day that I was lost and undone without God, that the Spirit of God convicted me that it was me, a sinner, in need of a Savior. Uh, and the Word of God was being presented to my heart. The man of God was preaching in power, and the presence of God was upon him. The Holy Ghost used him to rightly divide the Word of God. It made its way into my ears, down into my heart, Amen. built up faith that I could believe. Right. And when I knelt before him and asked him, he forgave me of all my sin, cleansed Amen. me of all my un unrighteousness, and placed within me a grace that is greater than all my sin. Amen. I'm glad I stand justified by faith today, that I have peace with God. Peace with God is the most important thing that anyone could ever attain. Yeah. Yes. Amen. I said peace with God is the most important uh, bit of news, Amen. bit of information, the bit of knowledge that anybody can ever attain. Justification by faith takes away our guilt and helps us to stand before God, making us to understand that we have peace that passeth all understanding. Amen. If you're saved by the grace of God, there's no need in doubting, no need in worrying about what might take place tomorrow or a hundred years from now because the peace that you have with God justified by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is going to take you all the way through. Amen. No matter if you come to a place that your mind uh, slips and it no longer works like it used to, your name's still recorded in the book of life in heaven. The grace of God is still upon you and the peace of God will take you all the way through. Right now, this very moment, uh, in, in this, uh, the Holy Ghost of God is either uh, showing you that you are a friend of God or that you're his enemy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Right now, this very moment, if you're saved by the grace of God, there is a peace that passeth understanding within you that helps you to know that, that God is a, your friend. But if the peace of God is not within you and the grace of God has not washed you from your sin, you know right this very moment by the grace of God, by the power of God and conviction that God is not your friend and that you are at enmity with him. He comes to us to help us to understand as sinners that we were at enmity with God. But how did this change? How did that come about? Look in verse number eight. But God. Amen, preacher. Yeah. Thank but God. God. Yeah. Thank God. Amen. Uh, we didn't get good enough. We didn't yeah. write a new, we didn't turn over a new leaf. We yeah. didn't change ourselves. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners. Yeah. Amen. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. While we were yet sinners, Christ died yeah. for us. Yeah. How is the opportunity for anybody to have peace with God but God? 
How is it that any of us who are wretched and vile and undone and on our way to hell could have peace with God but God. We didn't do it. We didn't have any right to it. We didn't have any access to it until the Word of God came to us and God commended His love toward us. The Bible says here that we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope that we have with Him. Uh, by grace we're saved through faith, once delivered unto saints by a new and living way that was opened up to us. We were dead in trespasses and in sin, but he quickened us by the Holy Spirit of God, made us alive to the things of God, that we might receive the gift of God, which is Jesus Christ our Lord. We have access. Verse number two said we had access into this grace wherein we stand. This access, an introduction, there was the preached word of God that built faith and helped us to know that grace was able to save us. Yeah, amen. Amen. Yeah. That we couldn't get good enough, that we couldn't work our way in, that there was nothing about us that was of any value to anybody except God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. amen. I still at times don't understand why he'd ever look my way. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. I don't understand why he would ever look my way, but it was all about what he wanted. That's right. right. Yeah. Yes. We have access to the throne of God today through the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. our Lord and Savior, who gave us an introduction to a grace wherein we stand. Yeah. Yeah. That grace wherein we stand is a sevenfold grace. We're standing on it. It is under us. It is behind us. It is in front of us. It is on each side of us. And thank God it is above us. We are standing in the grace of God. Grace sufficient. Seven, the number of completion and perfection helps us to stand in that grace. Even today in the world in which we live. We've been discharged from our guilt, washed in the blood of Calvary, cleansed from all our sin, made a new creature in Christ Jesus the Lord, a child of God. Yeah. Each one of those denoting that it's a progressive work that takes place all in a moment of time. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That we're not working to get saved. We're working because we are saved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. As soldiers were marching on in the peace that passeth understanding and in the power of a captain or a master who has saved us by his grace. Amen. Rejoicing in the hope of his glory, not in ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Rejoicing in the hope of his glory and not in ourselves. Yeah. Paul said, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. It's all about what he's done, not what I have done. I'm not worth a flip, but thank God he's greater than everything. I had nothing to offer him. He came and gave me everything. Hallelujah to his name. This grace wherein we stand. We hope not in ourselves, but we hope in Him, the Almighty, the one who has never, ever lost a battle. Yeah. Right. Yes, right. Amen. He's not going to give up on me now. That's right. yeah. Amen. Hello? I've already cost Him too much. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's already done too much that He might receive me as a son into His family. He's already done too much that I might not be lost. Yeah. Amen. But that I might be found in him. Yeah. Hallelujah goes right in there. I'm yeah. glad I'm saved for all eternity. Amen. I'm as good as in glory as if I was already there. Yeah. Because I've been given access to a grace wherein I stand. Amen. Every Glory to God. Every day that I live. Every moment from here all the way home. I've got somebody with me. I've got somebody that will never leave me. i got somebody that will never forsake me. But he said, I'm going to go with you all the way. The almighty God that has never lost a battle. Verse number three says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. Yeah. Uh, sometimes that gets hard. Uh, yeah. uh, that get, get, gets where the rubber meets the highway right there. Glory in tribulations. I, I, I've tried to tell him several times, my name's not Job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, amen. Yeah. The Bible says we are to glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. 
And patience is something that disagrees with our fleshly nature all the way, all together. That's right. When trials come, they are not a pleasure, but they produce patience. Yeah. Yes, sir. There you go. Amen. Uh, I've always been told, be careful how you ask for patience. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because tribulation worketh patience. Yeah. Amen. Trials and troubles and heartaches worketh patience. Why? Because God is doing a work within us. Right. Amen. 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 We know all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Yeah. God has to begin to work upon us to make us to look more like him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Hey Amen. Years ago up there in the mountains of western North Carolina, there was a fellow that carved dogs and, and he could paint them so lifelike that they looked like they could actually bark. They were made out of wood. He carved them with his hand with his tools and he painted them until they looked so lifelike they were amazing. Somebody said, uh, how do you make these wooden dogs look to be so real? He said, well, I, I just take a piece of wood and I take my tools and I begin to cut away everything that don't look like a dog. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We get saved by the grace of God. Yeah. With access to the throne of God, access to the word of God, access to the grace of God, he begins to whittle away everything that don't look like Jesus. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. He begins to whittle away at everything that's about us to make us look more like him. We're not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Our mind should be Christ-like, our heart Christ-like. Our glory is his glory. With patience, we wait for it. The Bible says also with patience comes experience and experience hope. Experience in God working in our lives, the divine intervention of a holy and almighty, uh, worthy God. He takes the time and concern and con and that he might care for me and for mine. He lives in me yeah. as if he had nowhere else he wanted to be. Amen. Yeah. 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 That boggles my mind. He who spoke and everything there is came into existence. He who by everything it was made by him and for him and maintains everything by his good grace and power. Yeah. And yet he lives as me as if he had nowhere else he wanted to be. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty special about that myself. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Experiencing him gives me hope. Understanding what he brought me from and what he's doing with me now and where he's taking me to gives me a hope for today and a hope for tomorrow that is not based on what I can do, but on the glory that I've seen in him thus far. He's done it before. He can do it again. Amen. And because he made the promise that I'm going to go with you all the way and I'm going to be the one that supplies all your need, we know he will do it again. Yeah. Uh, I like what the black preacher pre was preaching about when he preached. He makes ways out of no ways. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The day in which the world in which we live, everybody's looking around at the things that are going on and they wonder how we're going to do this, how we're going to do that. They're wringing their hands and they're wondering how in the world are we going to make it? What are we going to do? Yeah. Well, how'd you get to where you are? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, amen. Think about amen. how did you get it as good as you got it now? Yeah. Right. yeah. The same God that saved you by His grace, the same God that has built holy faith within you, the same God is the still the same God. He has not changed and He's not going to. If He got you to where you are now, surely He can get you the rest of the way. We have hope in the glory of God. This hope is in us, it's for us. Because it's in him and it's by him. He will not deceive us. He's never lied to us before. He ain't going to now because it's impossible for him to lie. He will not neglect us. He will not leave. He will not forsake because he is in us, on us, around us, filling us and thrilling us, making each of us unashamed. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I, I'm, I'm ashamed of a whole lot of things I've done, but I'm not ashamed of anything God's done. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
I, I, when I got saved by the grace of God, I had two pair of blue jeans. One to wear at school, one to wear when I got home. Mama made sure I knew the difference. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Had holes in my tennis shoes. Had a little to call mine. I had nothing at all to offer him. And so when he saved me by his grace, he took all of my nothing Amen. that he might give me everything. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Yes. <laughs> I'm a child of the king. Amen. Yeah. A child of the king. Amen. <laughs> my name's written in the book of life in heaven. I'm an heir, a joint heir with Jesus Christ himself. I may not have anything that this world wants, but thank God everything that I'll ever desire is with him, in him, for him, and by him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He makes us not ashamed, but glad, and sometimes exceedingly glad that we are his and he is ours. Yeah. Verses 6, 7, and 8 tells us, for when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man when some even dare to die but God. Yeah. Amen. But God. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. But God yeah. commendeth his love toward us yeah. who are without strength, ungodly, without hope, dead in trespasses and sin, hopeless, helpless, Deserving of hell, sinful, wretched, blind, vile, worthless, even obnoxious about it. Yeah. Unworthy of even a favorable glance from God, but God. So loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that even a whosoever could believe in him and inherit everlasting life. God gave his only begotten son so that I could say, I'm saved. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's different now. Amen. Since yeah. Jesus saved my soul. Yeah. It's different now. Since by his blood I'm whole. That's right. yeah. Old Satan had to flee. Yeah. When Jesus Amen. rescued me. Right. Now it's different. Amen. Oh, so different now. Yeah, yeah. He saved my soul, washed me in his own precious blood, made me whole for all eternity. I've been justified, reconciled, regenerated, been made new, given hope, joy, peace, purpose, a plan, a walk with God, been hid with Christ in God. He gave it, I received it, and now I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There is therefore now yeah, right this very minute. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. I'm glad that I hope in Him. I've been justified. Yeah. He died that He might wash our sins away, but He came out of the tomb three days later that we might stand justified before God. Amen. He who was the first fruits. He who died in our place was the first fruits of them that slept. But he ain't dead no more. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's alive forevermore. And because he lives, we shall live also. Yeah. Preacher, I don't know how long I was supposed to do. I don't know how long I've took, but I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to tell you I know him. Yeah. Amen. Thank you.